One of the crops we don't talk often about here on Ag PhD is dry beans. So today we wanted to kind of go through production from start to finish. All right, let's start from the beginning. Let's start with soil fertility. When you look at dry beans, it's a crop that has a high demand for nutrients. And if you're short on some of these nutrients, it can negatively impact you and yield very quickly. NP and K are kind of an obvious and everybody looks at NP and K. But don't forget about how much calcium and sulfur that you need and also micronutrients. So we suggest doing a complete soil test and then looking at the Ag PhD fertilizer removal app to see exactly how many of these nutrients that you need so you don't run short. Probably the biggest thing I would say on fertility is make sure your potassium levels are high. A lot of people underestimate how much dry beans and soybeans, all those bean crops, can use in terms of potassium. Seed treatment is the next thing, and it's an absolute must, uh, especially with a crop that really doesn't have the varietal tolerance to a lot of the diseases that some of the other things like corn or soybeans would have, uh, just due to the breeding and the number of acres that dry beans are on compared to those other crops. So make sure you're doing what you can with the seed treatment to protect yourself from disease and also from insects where appropriate. We also recommend pre-emerge herbicides. You've got Spartan Charge, you've got the yellows like Sonalan or Prowl. So yeah, we don't have quite as many options as we do in some of these other crops, but if you had a yellow plus Spartan Charge, boy, you've got awfully good pre-emerge weed control. Now for top yields, you have to manage stresses as they come along during the season. You have to anticipate when things are coming like hot weather or drought or those types of things, but also insect outbreaks and disease outbreaks. We've seen some really big yield boosts where guys have protected their crop with fungicides and also with insecticide applications right, very early. Yeah, Don't wait until they blow up in a field. Yeah, let's get real specific here. In terms of diseases, you got to be ahead of things on this dry bean deal, just like Darren said, white mold is probably the worst disease problem that most farmers will fight. All right, you could start pre-emerge using some contans if you have a history of white mold, but otherwise what we're talking about is using post-emerge treatments. Uh, there are things like Endura and Proline. There are many different fungicides. Just check for the ones that are labeled in your area, but look at specifically white mold, but then definitely other diseases as well. All right, now post-emerge weed control. We talked about the pre never skip that pre-emerge program in dry beans. Otherwise, you're going to be behind the eight ball the rest of the season. There are some post-emerge choices that are decent. Uh, in the past, we used to use Result. Now, that's been replaced by Varisto, which should be a better program for broadleaf weed control on your farm. Uh, you look at things like Reflex that can be used, depending on what geography you're raising the dry well, beans in. Well, very specifically, if you've got water hemp, palmer pigweed, uh, even ragweed, that Reflex is going to be your best bet. And really that broadleaf component is number one because with grass, we have lots of choices for grass control post-emerge, just like we do in soybeans. Probably our key message here is dry beans respond to good management. Now, if there are some of these things we've talked about that you haven't been doing, we certainly encourage you, try them on a few acres. Prove it to yourself and then do it across a bunch of acres. You know, whether it's using a pre-emerge herbicide, whether it's using fungicides, and especially late in the season, don't give up too early on that dry bean crop. With dry beans, just like with soybeans, they make a lot of their yield late in the year. So we really care about July about August, sometimes even early September, depending on what part of the country you're from. Well, fortunately in dry beans, we don't very often see our weed of the week, but you will see it in other areas around your farm. Can you identify this week's weed? <music>